out to center in Salt Lake City, where tonight the Spurs visit the Utah Jazz, next on FSN. In San Antonio, he's known as Super Manu, and now the rest of the league is discovering that Manu Ginobili is simply magnificent. Monday against Cleveland, Manu was anything but Cavalier, scoring 21 points. And then Wednesday, he dethroned the Kings with 29 points, 15 of those in the fourth quarter. And each night, another exciting highlight. His improved play will be key during the Spurs' regular season stretch run, which continues tonight in Salt Lake City. San Antonio Spurs bring a four-game winning streak to the Wasatch Mountains as we welcome you to the Delta Center in Salt Lake City as the Spurs take on the Utah Jazz. And Tim Duncan, who has gone over the 30-point mark in two of the three victories against the Jazz, and Andre Kirilenko, a rising star, has made his mark leading the Jazz in scoring at 16 and a half points per game. In the Western Conference, the Spurs still one game back of Minnesota in the loss column, two behind the Lakers, believe it or not, and still one game ahead of Memphis as we go down for the seeding battle down the stretch. The Utah Jazz fighting for the eighth and final spot. And we welcome you to the Delta Center. I'm Dick Stockton, and by popular demand, making his long-awaited debut as a television analyst is Sean Marks, and you're seeing him here in preseason against the Knicks. He's been on the injured list. First New Zealand native to play in the NBA with Toronto and Miami, and a very personable guy, and he is with us tonight. Now, Sean, what time is it, and what day is it in New Zealand? It's tomorrow already. Okay, so if you were to call your father, he could tell you who won this game. He probably could. Let's hope it's the Spurs, but we don't know yet. All right, that's very good. Big game tonight, of course, because the Spurs know they want to keep pace. Knowing the Lakers are on Sunday, can't stumble against this Jazz team. No, absolutely. This is a huge game tonight, really, for both teams. You've got the Jazz, who are trying to stay ahead of Denver and Portland, who are chasing them for the eighth and final spot, and also San Antonio, who is really trying to you know, catch Minnesota here and get a, get a higher seeding for the playoffs. That would be great, the number two seed. And, of course, the hot man as of late. How spectacular has Mano Ginobili been with 50 points in the last two games? Yeah, what can you really say about Mano? He's been absolutely fantastic the last few games and even all season long, really. Um, so we look for another great performance from him tonight. Great all-around performance. And, of course, the Utah Jazz have a fellow named Gordon Giracek who came over from Orlando. He led them in their last game against New Orleans with 19. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. He's another feisty player for the Jazz, and, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough matchup there. So, you, know, you know, we've got to really make sure we keep him off the boards and away from cutting to the hoop and slashing. You see him right there. So it's going to be a great matchup between the two. And a lot of new faces that the Spurs have not seen against this Jazz club, the team they have beaten 16 straight times. So coming up, it'll be the Jazz against the Spurs. And Bruce Bowen coming off his season's high of 16 points against the Sacramento Kings on Wednesday and his defensive prowess always there. Game coming up, San Antonio and Utah. Yes, thank you. Yes, you made it. Dear drinkers of America, it seems our honorable opposition have anointed themselves the king of beers. The king of beers. I guess they never got the memo. This is America. America is a democracy. Break it down. Demo crazy. With that in mind, we hereby announce Miller's candidacy for the president of beers. Now, this campaign is about the character of our beer. Miller Lite, the great tasting beer that's less filling. It's a good call. Miller Genuine Draft, a beer with genuine flavor that's cold, filtered, smooth. Another good call. People, the choice is yours. Beer's been out there wandering around in a monarchy too long. Beer needs democracy too. A president of beer. Jews taste. Miller, good call. Jews taste. Douglas Baker has always been reasonably happy with his.